Currently, Voyager 1 sits at the edge of our solar system, over 14 billion miles from Earth, the farthest human-made object in history. Astonishingly, scientists have discovered that another star once swept even closer to our Sun, leaving behind cryptic cosmic signatures. This stellar visitor passed by long before humans existed, inscribing its presence through subtle gravitational disturbances in the outer solar system that astronomers have only recently decoded. Like ancient celestial footprints preserved in cosmic sand, these clues reveal an extraordinary chapter in our solar neighborhood's history. Today, we'll unravel this cosmic mystery step by step, exploring how these ghostly stellar echoes transform our understanding of our place in the galaxy, the cosmic dance of stars. When we observe our solar system today, we see a picture of remarkable stability. For billions of years, planets have traced their elliptical paths around the Sun with such precision that we can predict their positions centuries into the future. This clockwork reliability gives us a false sense of isolation, as if our solar system exists in its own protected bubble, untouched by outside forces. The reality is far more dynamic. Our entire solar system moves through the Milky Way galaxy at nearly 230 kilometers per second, alongside 200 to 400 billion other stars. This cosmic dance of countless suns, many with their planetary systems, creates an ever-changing stellar neighborhood across galactic time. The distances separating these stellar systems are staggering, measured in light years, with our nearest neighbor, Proxima Centauri, over four light years, 40 trillion kilometers away. Yet despite this immense spacing, the universe operates on timescales that make encounters inevitable. Like ships crossing a vast ocean, their paths will intersect given enough time. Over our solar system's 4.5 billion year existence, the mathematics of probability transforms rare events into certainties. Astronomers calculate encounter probabilities using stellar density in our galactic region, relative velocities averaging 20 kilometers per second compared to our Sun, and the complex orbital paths stars follow around the galactic center. These factors transform our seemingly isolated system into a participant in a complex stellar neighborhood. Red dwarfs, comprising about 75% of all stars in the Milky Way, represent the most likely visitors to our cosmic vicinity. Despite their small size, between 8% and 40% of our Sun's mass, their abundance makes them the primary candidates for close approaches to our solar system. Astronomers have mapped potential encounter scenarios throughout our solar system's history through sophisticated computer simulations recreating gravitational interactions. These digital models reveal a fascinating pattern. While the inner planets remain relatively sheltered by the Sun's dominant gravitational pull, the outer regions tell a different story. Beyond Neptune lies the Oort Cloud, a vast spherical shell of icy bodies extending up to 100,000 astronomical units from the Sun. Earth orbits at one astronomical unit, Neptune at 30 astronomical units. These distant objects maintain only tenuous gravitational connections to our star, making them particularly vulnerable to stellar disturbances. When stars pass through our outer solar system, they can reshape these distant regions. Their gravity alters the orbits of Oort cloud objects, sometimes pushing them into elongated paths or sending them inward as comets. Close encounters might even strip away some objects, launching them into interstellar space. Most stellar historical visitors likely passed thousands of astronomical units away, distant by human standards, but close enough to leave their gravitational signature. Evidence indicates that at least one star ventured remarkably close within 110 astronomical units of our Sun, closer than Voyager 1's current position. This isn't speculation. The evidence appears in the orbital patterns of objects at our solar system's edge. Like forensic clues at a cosmic crime scene, these unusual orbits, particularly those tilted away from the flat plane where planets typically orbit, reveal the passage of an ancient stellar intruder that reshuffled parts of our solar system. This discovery challenges our understanding of solar system stability and raises fascinating questions about how this cosmic visitor altered our planetary neighborhood. To understand what happened, we must examine the evidence astronomers have uncovered. Subtle clues left behind by the star that came closer to our sun than any in known history. 
Cosmic Detective Work Uncovering the Evidence Sometimes the most remarkable scientific discoveries begin not with a dramatic observation, but with a subtle anomaly that doesn't quite match our expectations. Astronomers studying the far reaches of our solar system noticed exactly this. Objects with orbital patterns that the gravitational influence of our known planets couldn't explain. These objects seem to be dancing to music, played by an unseen conductor. But what or who could this conductor be? Trans-Neptunian objects, or TNOs, cosmic bodies orbiting beyond Neptune, serve as perfect witnesses to this cosmic waltz gone askew. These frozen wanderers preserve our solar system's history. Unlike the inner planets, which are transformed by geological processes, these distant icy objects have remained unchanged since their formation. Their orbits contain a record of gravitational interactions stretching back billions of years. When astronomers mapped the orbital characteristics of these TNOs, they discovered something surprising. Several objects followed paths dramatically different from the norm of an undisturbed solar system. Most planets orbit in the same direction and plane, like cars around a racetrack. But certain TNOs break these rules completely. Some have highly tilted orbits far above and below this cosmic track. Even more puzzling, some travel in retrograde orbit opposite to almost everything else in our solar system. To understand these orbital anomalies, researchers turned to computer simulations. Over 3,000 digital experiments tested whether a passing star might have disrupted the outer solar system. Scientists identified which scenario best matched real-world observations by varying parameters like the star's mass, approach distance, and path angle. The simulations revealed that a stellar flyby could produce precisely the orbital anomalies astronomers had observed. A star passing close to a planetary system can drastically alter the paths of distant objects, flinging some into elongated orbits, tilting others away from the main plane, and even reversing some objects' directions completely. The evidence points to a star with approximately 0.8 times our Sun's mass passing within just 110 astronomical units. Closer to our Sun than Voyager 1, humanity's most distant spacecraft, is now at 159 astronomical units. This digital detective work explained bizarre orbits and gave rise to symbols like Sedna, whose stretched path now serves as a cosmic clue to that ancient flyby. Discovered in 2003, Sedna follows a highly elongated orbit, taking it nearly 1,000 astronomical units from the Sun at its farthest point. Standard solar system formation models cannot account for Sedna's orbit. Still, a close stellar encounter provides a perfect explanation. The passing star's gravity captures Sedna and stretches its path into the elongated ellipse we observe today. Evidence for this stellar intruder extends beyond TNOs. Some irregular moons orbiting our gas giants may bear signatures of this cosmic encounter. Saturn's moon Phoebe orbits opposite to most of Saturn's other moons. Similarly, Jupiter and Neptune host irregular moons with unusual orbital characteristics, possibly TNOs captured during the stellar flyby. This discovery fundamentally changes our understanding of solar system development. We've traditionally viewed our planetary neighborhood as an isolated system developing with minimal outside influence. However, this evidence suggests interactions with passing stars played a crucial role in shaping our solar system's architecture. The timing remains uncertain, perhaps early in our system's formation, or more recently, within the last billion years. Regardless, this stellar intruder's effects continue to influence our solar system today. What's most humbling is realizing our solar system isn't an island in space. We're part of a dynamic, interconnected galactic neighborhood where stars and planetary systems occasionally cross paths. This encounter was likely one of several throughout our solar system's history, though probably the closest. As our observation capabilities improve, we may uncover evidence of other stellar visitors who helped shape the cosmic environment we call home. Cosmic Consequences Reshaping Our Solar System When a star passes through the outer reaches of our solar system, it doesn't come and go without consequence. The gravitational influence of such a massive object, even at a distance of 110 astronomical units, creates ripple effects that transform the architecture of our planetary neighborhood. Imagine our solar system as a meticulously arranged cosmic jigsaw puzzle. 
suddenly disrupted by an unexpected stellar gust that scatters the pieces in new patterns. The result is a fundamental reorganization that we're still observing today. The timing of this stellar encounter matters significantly. Research points to these events occurring most frequently during a star's early life, within the first 10 million years, when stars remain clustered in stellar nurseries. This timing makes sense, as the gravitational relationships between objects in our young solar system would have been less established, making them more susceptible to disruption. The gravitational effects propagate through the solar system over millions of years, gradually reshaping countless orbits, like ripples expanding across a pond long after a stone has sunk. What begins as a momentary gravitational tug continues to alter trajectories long after the visitor has departed. The most dramatic changes occur at the outer edges, where objects are held less firmly in the sun's gravitational embrace. This stellar flyby scattered icy bodies from the Kuiper Belt and Oort cloud like autumn leaves in a sudden windstorm. Before the encounter, these regions contained numerous objects in stable, roughly circular orbits. The passing star's gravity disrupted this arrangement, sending some objects into highly elongated orbits toward the inner solar system, pushing others farther out and ejecting some entirely. This scattering effect dramatically impacts Earth and other inner planets. With icy bodies redirected inward, cometary impacts increased substantially. Each impact delivers water, organic compounds, and materials essential for life. This cosmic bombardment may have directly influenced life's development on Earth by delivering crucial building blocks or creating environmental pressures that drove evolutionary changes. A profound connection between distant stellar encounters and our very existence. The New Horizons spacecraft, now more than 50 astronomical units from the Sun, provides valuable evidence supporting this understanding. Its observations of Kuiper Belt objects reveal the complex orbital relationships that stellar flybys create. By measuring these distant bodies' composition and orbital characteristics, astronomers can refine their models of how stellar encounters reshape planetary systems. These observations connect to discoveries about other planetary systems throughout the galaxy. The unusual characteristics in our outer solar system, like Sedna's highly elongated orbit or certain TNO's retrograde orbits, also appear in other planetary systems suggesting stellar encounters commonly influence planetary system development galaxy-wide. Retrograde trans-Neptunian objects, those orbiting opposite to the planets, offer especially valuable insights. Their inclination helps determine our solar system's original debris disk size. Objects like 2008 KV-42 and 2011 KT-19, with inclinations exceeding 100 degrees, suggest the Sun's primordial disk extended to at least 65 astronomical units. This stellar encounter fits into a pattern of galactic interactions shaping our solar system over billions of years. Our Sun exists within a dynamic galactic neighborhood where stars occasionally influence each other's planetary systems. This recognition transforms our understanding of planetary development throughout the universe. The architecture of planetary systems isn't determined solely by initial formation conditions but by subsequent stellar interactions during their journey through the galaxy. The evidence of a star passing closer to our Sun than Voyager 1 reshapes our understanding of our cosmic neighborhood. Our solar system is a dynamic environment shaped by stellar encounters throughout history. The orbits of distant objects tell this story of cosmic interaction. As instruments like the Vera C. Rubin Observatory prepare to discover thousands of new trans-Neptunian objects, each could be another page in our solar system's diary of encounters. Alan Stern, who leads the New Horizons mission, describes this revelation as something unexpected, new, and exciting in the distant reaches of the solar system. These discoveries remind us that we're part of an interconnected cosmic tapestry. If you're as fascinated by space as we are, you won't want to miss these other videos. We dive even deeper into the universe's secrets and explore recent discoveries that could revolutionize your understanding of the cosmos. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic adventure. Stay curious and keep looking up.